got the beer inside your veins, sweat dripping down your head. Feeling like you might give up, but you push on through instead. Learning how to survive, hanging by a thread. No time for sitting still, got the man watching us. Hey guys, what's up? This is Sinil Nation 98. Hello everyone, this is Wing Iris 28 here. What's up everybody? I'm I Ken Snake. Hello everybody, I am the greatest member here, Downloads Bacon. You wish. Part of this <laughs> download breakfast. <laughs> Part of this Greeting. Downloads breakfast. Greetings everyone, this is CC Trainer Ling. Hey, what's up guys, it's James and um, there's no disguise in that double vision. What's going on my pet shoppers and video gamers, this is Will's Nintendo Shop here. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? Why? Uh-huh. Alright guys, and uh... And if you saw our reaction video yesterday, uh, you guys, uh, I want to ask you guys, I was busy. Yes, I was busy. You guys threw me in a closet, handcuffed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very sorry about that. Very I sorry escaped. That. Luckily, not... please let me know. It kidding. wasn't bad if you were willing to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, true. Oh, I mean, you, you are you are Sunil, after all. I mean, you are basically You like weren't resisting. <laughs> I could have been a part of my trick. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys, uh, we have a special guest here to join us. Uh, she was in our reaction video, so please introduce yourself. Hola. I'm Friendship Stude 1 or Abby or whatever. Hi. 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 <laughs> it's Friendship Studios. Woo! Woo! Yay, oh, me! Yeah! <laughs> uh, also, guys, don't forget, uh, a link to her channel will be in the description below. Also, Woo! check out... Also, check out... Sinil Nevla and the Brave Mongoose. It's amazing so far. <laughs> Thanks. I- I'm not going to give any spoilers. Please do. No. But anyway, so without further ado, let's go right into the plot. So the plot here is that Blight tries to convince the Viscus to keep two twin chinchillas that they got and have to keep it for a day. And it turns out that towards the end of the day, they were going to give them back. So Blight has to try and help the two chinchillas. Uh, what was her names? It was Velvet and Cashmere, Cashmere. Cashmere. Cashmere and Velvet. And that Velvet. was it. Yeah. And for them to help so that they wouldn't get in trouble. Or well, that they would be able to stay as their owner. And the subplot is that Sinil works to prove to Mika that he too can paint well. So, Abby, since you are a new... Since you're our guest pet this week, would you like to start with the first positive? Um, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I think someone else should go first. I'm. I'm thinking still, sort of. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Okay. Um. I would say the first pass I will go to is is chinchillas, and I'm really I actually I like them for actually sort of being just like adorable like throughout this episode and the fact that they did show the motive on why they want to get other other than just being sent over to the uh, orphanage by the biscuits. So, yeah, they're really also like a bit clever, and also just the fact that they actually like. Uh, even though they actually actually eventually show their like a uh, similar personality to the biscuits, they do actually have a bit of a good heart for the matter. So yeah. Yeah, I'd also like to talk about the chinchillas too. Both cashmere and velvet, they were the two most adorable and cutest pets ever. They were voiced by Nicole Oliver, which I'm pretty sure like the voices had their had the voice pitched, and I absolutely love her voice for them. Uh, the the personality the writers gave to the pets and the designs were are really great, and um, I got some feels from the chinchillas like when they had to get sent to the chinchilla ranch. So like I kind of felt bad for them in the beginning of the episode. Bacon. Oh, okay. um, what's it called? Uh, you guys basically said what I was gonna say. I really did enjoy the chinchillas. They were adorable, like as heck. Yeah, they were. They were. And even though they were, like, a little mean, though, compared to the other pets that we've been introduced to, it kind of works that they would be pets of the Biscuits, you know? They kind of work. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, other than that, I mean, besides Nicole Oliver just doing an amazing job with these voices, which I could not tell it was her. I honestly thought they brought something. I know. I thought it was Shannon. Shannon. Yeah. So, it was an amazing work by Nicole Oliver to do this. But other than that, I mean, they're awesome. <laughs> I don't know if, uh, Sunil, you have anything to say on that? Or... Well, you guys just summed up pretty much everything I wanted to say about the A plot. We should move, be moving on to the B plot now. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I think the B plot worked pretty well. I mean, okay, it didn't really connect to the first plot, but I would say that just as the B plot by itself, it probably would have been, like, a really good short. 
yeah. for, for the Hasbro Studios yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, it um, seemed like they dragged it on. I thought we were talking about chinchillas. <laughs> well, yeah, but no, yeah, but we gotta, we gotta, we gotta talk about Sunil going on, you know, Minka. Yeah, on that easily. Well, well, There's a little bit of shipping in there. I think it's called Suninga or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Sunil X Minka. That's a ship I choose to sink. <laughs> I like yeah. Supper more. Supper. That's a ship book not handle. Yeah, I mean, that's like one of the. All right, yeah. so. Uh, I just want to get this out of the way now, but uh, a lot of people were, some people were asking me, uh, what was my, my opinion about the subplot, and did I think it was mean-spirited? Um, the subplot, I thought, I thought it was pretty funny, because, uh-huh. you know, ew. anyway, but um, I, I loved how he was freaking out, he was just flame paint everywhere, and went everywhere except the campus, yeah, except not for even the campus, as and then his freak out oh, in the very beginning bad. of it. And then after that, he has a little psychological freak out afterward where he starts crying. Yeah. And then when he tells Minka that he's sorry that he said that it's that it was easy and anyone can do it, mm-hmm. it kind of bothered me a little bit. I was like, wow, come on. When she pulled a, a quarter out of his ear, I was like, wow, way to kick him while he's down. Wait, no, I, I, but I do have a little something against that. Yes, Minka did pull out the quarter, but we got to remember that Sunil does have that uh, transporting transportation jutsu thing that he did remember in uh yeah, yeah. Thing. Oh, it's camera manga. yeah come on not at that level come on that's still awesome let's not ignore that if minka yeah. did that how come they can't do like, that oh. anymore like they never do it anymore what do you mean his magic is never used in season two very often yeah. Season three, well, we only, I don't even day, think we saw him. He was him yet. doing magic and he didn't, like, in Seal Sick Day, he was doing magic and he didn't even actually do anything. He just waved <sighs> it around pointlessly. And... Uh, yeah. Well, to be fair, season two was more for Blythe, if anything else. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, because I think of the season... fashion, fashion arc? No, that's why season one was about introducing the pets, so we saw more magic and more of their abilities or talents while in season two season we one's the memorable season yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, yeah. honestly I think season two just blew like it just was awesome but season one did have a ton of good episodes mm-hmm. i'm not gonna deny anybody on that like top of buttercream like that, that is an awesome episode. i love that episode the yeah. part when they're going when they're all going super high on sugar yeah sugar! <laughs> and then on- and then penny so- having her fantasy where she's <laughs> like laying in the grass Every yeah, time I watch that scene, I'm like, see, kids, that's what LSD does to you. <laughs> Ooh. Don't do <laughs> drugs, kids. And you James, know, do I, you have I, anything to say? Yes, James. Oh, yes, it's my turn. Um, Well, l- let oh. me jump on the bandwagon by saying that the chinchillas were bloody adorable. Bloody. Bloody. Um, uh, I, I also enjoyed the B plot. Actually, much better than the A plot. I mean, A plot had a few... Good points, like mainly just the chinchillas being well bloody adorable, but the B plot was much more entertaining in the long run. And like, um, like uh, I believe, uh, was it either CC or Downloads Bacon said this that it would be would have worked better as a short, but no, I still good. think it. I think still think it worked all right. You know, here even if it was a little dragged on, but it had a nice resolution. The part where Sunil basically was flinging paint everywhere and and it went got everywhere except the canvas <laughs> Cla- classic looney tunes guys i mean it is something straight out of looney tunes yeah and, and speaking of which there was a little joke like a subtle little nod the tip of the hat i noticed like near the climax of the episode like when the chinchillas decided you know just to um start wreaking havoc a bit like with yeah. the other pets, it's like the, there's a duck, and he like starts doing yeah. a little uh, Donald that's, Duck thing. Yeah, that's the one. Wow, that's the big idea. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that actually got my attention, and you know, well, yeah. I I enjoyed it just being the classic cartoon nut that I am. Yeah, same here but, for me. Mm-hmm. But really, that that's most of the positives I ha- I have is just that B plot was great, and the chinchillas were bloody adorable. In fact, I would actually go as far as saying that if someone out there can make decent plushies of these guys, you can have all my money. Every penny <laughs> I own. <laughs> yeah. Take all my money. Um, Don't play that gift with your throne with Fry going, take my money. <laughs> take my money. I like how oh, yeah. they took the clips out of their hair and they had the exact same hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, 
All right, I want to point out a pos- positive, or actually, yeah, one thing in there is uh, Vinny and Penny Ling, like, uh, with, uh, with Blythe in here, so, um, yeah, basically, they're in character, and they they, they, they actually sort of help out the shows a bit, um, even though they were underused at times, but uh, you probably remember that, yeah, you mentioned about how Vinny actually sort of started the whole reek and uh, the climax, and then and then Blythe eventually just... Uh, just makes a wink to the chinchillas to like to actually have the business like tell them to like stop the command so that they'll be like eventually be uh well they'll eventually like uh, be owned so yeah. Mm-hmm. Abby, do you have anything to say? Um, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just whatever you say. I'll just. Sunil. And Sunil. Sunil. Well, you basically just said my first positive. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but whenever he has a subplot to himself, well, not technically all to himself, but when he has a subplot, one of the episodes about him, obviously he's going to be my first positive. Yes. <laughs> and if he isn't, if he doesn't have one, Russell does, then Russell's my first positive because, you know, Russell's yeah. my second favorite. Oh. Same. Anyway. But, um, uh, yeah, basically, Snail thought the entire subplot was funny. Trying to watch him paint and i know a lot of people said it was dragged on and it got repetitive and it was generic and overdone but if it's done to a point where it's funny enough where you know it's just for the entertainment standpoint and it's funny and we can all tolerate it that's what i loved about it and honestly i'm kind of with everyone here i i like them all the way throughout the episode there's also another part i didn't understand was the thing with uh, Vinny and Penny, when did that happen? <laughs> we're not making that a ship. Whatever we do, we're not making that a ship. Um, B7. I sunk that battleship. What's that, Vin? Make it a ship. No. No. Get him out of here. No. Make it a ship, and I want no. it big. Like the Titanic. B7. There, I there. want that it at like 7 a.m. in the morning. This is a ship that cannot be built. I want a, I want it. I want that shipping. Too late. The new thing has already been built. Oh, no! 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 Dude, just look at Deviant Art. No. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, must I? And All finally, right. LNS, let's hear your thoughts. Yeah, Mr. Jonas, what do you have? I could care less. I really don't. A- know. Anything okay. positive? Anything negative at all? I have hangings in character. That's really about yeah. it. You want to start off with the negatives, LNS? Sure. Negative. I like the chinchillas. They are tr- they are double the headaches. We don't need any more biscuits. They're literally mostly carbon cop. Well, more of soulmates. Who pretty much share the same soul with the biscuits. Two hundred bonus points if anyone besides Clay can reference what video game I just referenced. Sonic. I don't know. I don't have any. Is that it? Is that the only negative? I, you had a, a bunch um, of I think I think I got a negative. Sure. Um. Well, in a lot of my favorite episodes with Sunil in it, there's always the Biscuit Twins, which I'm not a fan of them. So, like, whenever there's a Sunil episode, there's always the Biscuits, and it seems like they're kind of taking over that more than Sunil is. <laughs> but there were, there were actually two episodes that were... Yes, and you driven that they weren't in. What mean worry? I know, what, but well, no. What mean worry? They were definitely in it. Okay. Yeah, in it were uh, Lights Camera Mongoose in season one and Sunil Sick Day in season two. Yeah, uh, that's why Sunil Sick Day is my favorite. It has a lot of Vinny Sunil bromance stuff thing. Mm-hmm. And gosh, that's for record. We don't ship them. Well, I do, but I kind of like the br- bromance more than the romance kind of. Room. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyone else uh, have any negatives? Um, Anyone want to say about this episode? Um, I, I would say, uh, I would say uh, one negative, though it's a bit minor, is the fact that the butler uh, actually made his return with the biscuit, which was it was unexpected and, and unexplained. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I want to say something yeah. against they're so fired. fired. Um, they're not. Um, the they're, not they're not fired. I keep on saying this over and over. I will keep saying this over and over. Fisher mm. biscuit. Huh. Yes, yeah. he bought them to back. Be fair, it was probably the father hired. Oh, it's, that makes more that, sense. How can I say it? It's something that can be interpreted to the fans. We can fill in the blanks of what happened to the butler. 
That is, yeah. they don't have to tell us every single thing. So that mm. I didn't have nothing again. I was so glad to see him again. I hope he raps. <laughs> yeah, I actually like the butler. He, he gets his own rap song. Yeah. Way oh, better God. than the real Friday rap. Who doesn't rap. love a rapping butler? <laughs> uh, that's the whole reason I want to be rich now. Just so I can know a butler and that he raps. Yeah. That's it. And that one, I if I'm ever rich, that's it. <laughs> I, I'd like to touch up on the negative myself. It, it was basically uh, most of the side plot with Sunil in, um, starting off with Sunil insulting Minko with her art. It was really predictable and unnecessary. Like, I agree that it could have been um, been made into a Littlest Pet Shop short on YouTube, uh, but it just dragged on for me. Like, it was funny at first, but, like, a lot of people thought that it was going to go in a different direction instead of what it um, what it had already gone to. Basically, Sunil just copied Minka's painting style and failed. But everyone else thought he would learn to gain his own painting style along with his magic. But instead, um, they just um, made him bad at painting, made him average at um, magic, while Minka is like great at painting and great at doing magic. It, um, I really want it, to go again so bad. It's like, um, um, I, I have a quote from my friend Philip. He's a Swedish pet shopper. It's sometimes the smallest of details that will, pit, that will piss you off. Mm-hmm. Language. Very true. Yeah. Uh, Philip Holmgren? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know Philip. Oh, yeah. He, he, yeah, he chatted with me, like, this other day, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. One of the negative I had, well... Well, from the way you describe about the Sunil's plot, it kind of sounded like that's actually one of my negatives. Was that it? It's probably it probably was uh, pointless and unneeded, and um, for this episode, but though it could have been better. But uh, well, I know it's fun, but I don't know. It's just uh, it could have worked as a story. Now, my other negative would would be that I think the A plot, though though it was understandable, and it actually did establish the the chinchillas as the reoccurring like in later episodes. Felt a bit mean spirited and predictable, especially the part when Blythe single handedly actually just uh, was the one di- responsible and directly uh, getting the chinchillas to the biscuits twin, which I thought it was unusual and it could have actually sort of made him like, uh, made her actually like two, like, well, I had two villains, even though like they're not technically villains, but it just, uh, it just, just felt that it, he, the pets would be facing new challenges in the later episodes. Just uh, Wait, so. Are we going to be seeing the chinchillas more often in the series, or is that it? I really hope so. Yeah, uh, because uh, friends, for well, Francis, continuity. Yeah, Francis did say that he's going to take care of the chinchillas to make sure that they have ke- they still kept their own real personality and not being a bit too mean like the biscuits, even though they're acting like they are like uh, trusting the biscuits this time. So, yeah. Then hopefully we can see them a little bit more often because I kind of like them. Yeah, they'll be appearing <laughs> oh, in. Hopefully we do. Yeah, they'll be appearing in if the shoe fits, which is when Biscuit or actually Bright Lies goes to the party with the um, that they're accidentally invited, and yeah, we'll probably see them again over there. I think I might draw them. I don't know. You should. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> I think I wanted to mention. I forgot to mention this earlier. But the part when Sunil looks and the camera's facing Sunil up and he's screaming and he's holding the paintbrush in his hand, did anyone else think of Dan versus? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> kind of. That could have been a reference. Yeah. Dan! Yeah. Yeah. They, they both are hub Dan shows. Versus painting. Yeah. I love that show. Yeah. That was a great show. I wish they would bring it back. Yeah. They yeah just, Chris was like, my what? favorite. <laughs> his Chris girlfriend was just over the top. I had a dancing episode. Yeah. <laughs> Another negative. Oh, I'm like a gaming convention. Wow. An- another negative I'd like to mention. It's it's nothing uh, major for me, but like for more for my friend Philip. Um, yeah. He he said um, the ending was um, mean spirited, or like they just got Sunil to laugh and everything was all better again. So uh, he said it could have been though. written written better. Uh, like that, that's just a whole cliche in a lot of shows. Uh, well, they did the same thing at the end of Penny for Your Laughs. Yeah, it's and a cliche. Complain about that? I mean, how, you know what? No, just continue. I, I can go on for like thirty minutes about going against it, but no, just, just continue. <laughs> Not that bad. No, it's. I mean, like, 
I mean, all these, like, we barely touch up on positive, like, ooh, and then the rest, but, you know, just, just continue. I'll, I'll just touch up on, on, on my overall review. Does anyone have any, uh, any negatives that can be in overall? Or positives, oh, or anything. Um, or anything? Let's see, I think I might have one negative. I'm just <sighs> trying to think of what it is. Um, well, like I said uh, before, I didn't generally care for the A plot. It's just, it's, it's like I said before, um, like I said this off, uh, I, I don't want to say off camera, because we're not on camera, but um, <laughs> off the off air, the I said this, um, that the biscuits are great whenever they're in small doses, or exceptional whenever they're playing off a of foil. You know, like Roger, for instance, you know, this, this that episode was, was brilliant. Um, but whenever they're by themselves, or in this case, have what LNS said are carbon copies of themselves, it can get a little grating. And even though I thought the chinchillas were adorable, at first I thought, man, I'm going to hate them <laughs> so much because they're essentially just biscuit clones, but in chinchilla form. And that's kind of the main reason why I didn't care for the A-plot. That, and it kind of seemed a little mean-spirited as, as well. But at least I had a happy resolution. You know, that, mm-hmm. that's the one thing I can give it. Yeah. So, yeah. I wish we could see them more often. I also wish we could also see, I don't know what you call it, if we could see Dodger and Twist again. Yeah, because they have that oh, yeah. uh, oh, yes. system there. Yeah, maybe in the finale, oh, yes. but... Uh-huh. One dream at a time. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't think I ever was Don't here whenever they were, whenever they were, whenever you guys talked yeah, about episode. I just call him Victoria and Chippendale. Yeah, I just basically call him Victoria and Chippendale. That's basically who they are. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Oliver Twist, Chippendale. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Yes, but um, I think we should wrap this thing up. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's wrap yeah. it up. Yeah. Yes. Oh, someone please hey. have another negative, please. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna yeah. wrap on all right. are you uh, serial <laughs> wrap on this episode all right um, you guys say a negative what bacon what what did you want me to say a negative bacon do you have no. one sarcastic now I'm very sarcastic all continue right. please okay um, you can go for it Elmeth. i do want to hear it i don't really want to give any more negatives because if i did this would probably just turn into everyone pick on lns day <laughs> we're not gonna pick on you we're not everyone oh, has on, yeah, I mean, we are you enough to you on you guys basis. aren't kidding. you guys aren't what i'm worried aren't the people i'm worried about i'm talking about the people outside the internet like who outside like who don't use we'll, the internet we'll them up in a parking lot <laughs> i mean not Sorry. outside the internet people in the internet in the Oh, because I was gonna say I thought I heard like a, 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 a crowd outside. Well, Stan and yeah. Dan. Well, you know what? We're just we're just dra- we're just dragging. Let's wrap this up. Yeah, we yeah. Let's are. wrap this up. Okay. Up. So overall opinions. All right. Um, for me overall, as this episode was a pr- pretty good one. While I find this new B plot to be pointless yet fun at its own as a short, the A plot actually was a good showing of development with the biscuits and Cashmere and Velvet getting their getting on with them eventually. Well, surely we'll see them in later episodes, and and yeah. Though, me at the times, it went alright, so I give it a 7.5 out of 10. For me, though, um, this episode was kind of iffy. Like, I liked it, but it wasn't exciting like um like other episodes this season. But it wasn't boring, either. Um, the, the main plot was great for me, like, amazing, but the side plot was alright. Like, it could have been better. I, re- I liked everything that was shown in it. Um, I really love Cashmere and Velvet. So I think I'll give this episode an 8.5 out of 10. Woo! Bacon? Who's next? Oh, me! I'm next. Awesome. Let me see. How can I, how can I sum this up really, really fast? There, I had a lot of positives. I had nine, actually, but we'll touch on that. I'll just put it later. Anyway... I really did enjoy this episode because I thought the comedy was really, really up there. In my eye, I was laughing a lot. It was really well done. And I, like I said, in the B-plot, I thought, I thought it was really funny. The one thing that I wish, though... Actually, no. I liked it, all of it. So let me see. They did touch up on the same thing. The same, they had the same moral side, honestly. I thought they were worked well together in this episode. None of them should have been a short and the only thing I'm a little disappointed is that there is no song. But other than that, I love the I love the biscuits. I love the chinchillas. I liked everything. I had nothing. And Sunil and Mika is my favorite two pets. So seeing them together on screen, 
is awesome. So I'm going to give this, if this was an actor, let me see, and Sean Connery is bad, <laughs> and Andy Dick is somehow good, I think I'll give this a Chuck Norris. So I'm giving this one 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Austin, Austin, Austin Miller and me give this episode a 10 out of 10. Foosh. Whoever's next, CC, okay. I'm passing the mic to you. Okay. As for me, eh, it wasn't really my favorite episode of the season, unlike a lot of people are saying it is, although I think it probably should. Like but me. that's but that's just the other side of me talking. <laughs> um, as just for me watching the episode a few times, I like how the biscuits are, I guess, in a sense, showing some compassion for things for for more than just a couple minutes. Because after all, they are going to keep the chinchillas. So, or for so I get themselves in general. Yeah, yeah. So, so I can't say that you know they don't have a heart. Well, they don't have hearts or anything. Because right now, this episode is proving that they can care for pets, or at least like them enough to keep them. Yeah, so like them for the pastor wife. <laughs> yes. As for those chinchillas, cashmere and velvet, um, yeah, I get that they're like the pet versions of Whitney and Brittany, but for some reason, I think it kind of works. I don't know, because maybe uh, the pets finally get their own rival. Their own rivals? I, I guess maybe that'll lead to something. I don't know, but <laughs> that let's would just be a great idea, season. actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm saying like put them in the day camp for once. Just see what happens. <laughs> It'd be nice. If that okay. happens, then get me plenty of aspirin. As <laughs> as for the Sunil plot, again, it could have been a short by itself, but just being a regular B plot for the episode, I thought it was funny. I didn't think it was boring or dragged on. I just figured, hey, you know, this is just Sue Neal like trying and failing, and that's usually funny. To yeah. me, I to me, I find Sue Neal trying and failing all time to be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, same. Yeah. Um I guess other than that, the episode was fairly good, not my favorite, but I'm definitely going to enjoy it as much as I can, so I'm going to give this episode an 8.2 out of 10. 8.2? 8.2? James? Alright. Um, overall, I thought this was an average episode. I mean, it's just the negatives and positives I had kind of balanced out and, um, you know, canceled each other out to where this one just came out as decent you know not spectacular and yet not you know a piece of a piece of garbage so i'm going to use a similar scale here um one being basically justin bieber and 10 being say kiss Don't steal I'm my gonna, jokes <laughs> i'm going to give this the so give this basically a a doken which is a five a hadouken oh what Doken. Guys, it's an, it's an 80s rock garbage. Band. Just read this fan oh. fiction called Sonic Meets LPS. It's so great. <laughs> By the way, me and Axe Nick will be reviewing that very soon. Plug! We'll do a review. All right, doggy? Yeah. You're so cute. All right, uh, Abby, do you have anything? Um, 7 out of 10. Ooh. Any final thoughts, Abby? Um, nope. <laughs> nope. How about yep, LNS? This kind of happened. Oh, what us? Oh boy. Uh -oh. I could just care, I could really care less about this episode. Oh, gosh. You're rating? You're rating, man? I already gave it five out of ten. Five okay. out of ten. Mm. All right. Hey, I'm giving it an eight out of ten. Ah, eight out of That's ten. Nice job. Did we miss anyone? Nah. Okay. I think we all got it. Okay. So, uh, I guess that's everything for this video. Um, guys, don't forget to check out Prince Studios 1's channel. Uh, there will be a link to our channel in the description below. Also, check out the Cuddly Mongoose team. And uh, also, Sunil Neville of the Brave Mongoose. Part 12 came out. You find out who the assassin is. It's very good. I would check it out. Yes. So, guys, so from me. Winged R28, I can stay close to the shop. James Bowen, Sister Turner Lang, Dallas Bacon, and French Studios One. This is Sinel 98 signing off. Bye bye. Peace See out, later. home sweet. Oh, chicken grease. <laughs> and everybody, stay classy. Stay classy, pet shoppers.
Thank you. Good night. Whoa.